Hey guys, welcome to CR and Trade Zone. This is Chetan here. This is the Hard Surface Modeling Part Five. So before moving to a detailed tutorial, if you didn't subscribe to the channel, then please subscribe it. And now let's get started. So add a cube and then add a cylinder and rotate it into the 90 degree like this. Then just move this cylinder and then scale it. It should be larger than the cube like this. and then use the boot tool and use the difference operation after that just delete that cube and you will get something like this and now we need to edit this topo we need to add the supporting loop cuts supporting edges so just take the knife tool and create a cut like this select then press z and then press select second point and then press enter Okay now you can see we got this edge just move this edge we will use the subdivision surface modifier so that's why it's important then start to add the supporting edges that's why you need to add loop cuts and then we will connect this loop cuts so just connect these words select both words and then right click and then connect vertex path now you need to do the same step with this one so just add a loop cuts and then connect them then add a loop cut like this and then connect them connect these two words okay like this now add center loop cut and use the symmetrize option choose the proper axis for the symmetry then add a subdivision surface modifier and then start to add the supporting loop cuts if it's necessary then edit the topology we are getting pretty bad shape here this is just because of the double edge or uh, we didn't merge the words something like this happened then only you will get something like this issue then just merge these words and you can see we need to solve this issue you just dissolve that that edge or you can delete that edge so let's select this edge words and then dissolve it you can see there is a double edge then dissolve that edge select the edge and then 
dissolve it. Control X for that. And now you can see our mesh looks pretty well. Then we will add boolean on it. Cylindrical boolean or boolean hole. Then add loop cuts. And then the symmetry. And now it's look pretty well. Then we will apply the solid uh, subdivision surface modifier on the level one. And just shift D to duplicate and make a backup. Then select these faces, and then I to insert, and then right click and loop tool is there, and select the circle option. Make sure the right, you should you should select the right faces, not too many, because it's a curved surface. After that just select the spaces and delete them. Then select the both edges and use the breach edge loop. Now we need to move the words a little bit to maintain that curve of the base mesh. Then add a supporting loop curves. Then you can see we have easily created this boolean and then apply add one more sub surface modifier and then submit take a symmetry. Now just move the words a little bit along the y axis just to maintain the curve of the base mesh and to avoid that bend. And the earth shading. Now you can see our mesh looks pretty well decent. And you can see the topology also. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye bye. See you in the next video. Take care.